Section 8.3 is all about simple interest on installment loans. So again, this is different from the ordinary and exact interest that we looked at in um, Lesson 1. Lesson 1, again, was single payment loans and calculating the interest for single payment loans. What we're going to look at today is calculating the interest on an installment loan. So usually we call that a finance charge. Um, so you have to pay basically interest for using money and you repay these in equal monthly payments. And then the APR is just your index showing the relative cost of borrowing money. So we are going to have a chart for this section. Um, I'll have it in this video here so you'll be able to see how we can use this. So there's three things that we need to do in order to calculate the finance charge. So the first step is always to calculate whoops, the monthly payment amount. And the way that we calculate the money payment amount is we take the amount of the loan, or you can think of this as the amount financed. Okay, so think about in section 8.2 when we figured out how much did we borrow. If we put down a down payment, what was left over, that's the amount financed. Um, we divide that amount by 100 and then we multiply it by, and this is from the chart. So I'll show you how to use this chart here in just a second. So we take the amount financed divided by 100 and then multiply it times the amount from the chart. The second thing that we have to do is we have to take that monthly payment amount, right? So that's this right here. And we have to take it times the number of payments. So like this would be the number of months that our loan is for. So if we have a 36 month loan, we're gonna be taking that monthly payment amount times 36. So that is the second step. And what this tells us in this step is how much money we're actually going to be paying back, right? So there's amount that we borrowed, and then there's an amount that we paid back. And then the finance charge is the difference in between those two things. So our third step then is to calculate what that finance charge. So we take the total amount that we repaid and we take out the amount that was financed from this first step up here. All right, so let's try a couple of examples here. So we're gonna start with Seth. He had a loan of $1,800 to get some furniture for our classroom. His APR is 8% and he has to repay the loan in 18 months. So we wanna figure out what the finance charge is that Seth is going to end up paying. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to calculate what our monthly payment is. So our monthly payment amount. So the amount that we're financing, we don't have a down payment with this. So we are going to use this as the amount that is being financed. So we're gonna take that 1800 and we're gonna divide it by 100. And then the way that we use this chart is our annual percentage rate is 8% and it's for 18 months. So we find where eight and 18 intersect and we multiply this. So we're gonna take this amount and we're gonna multiply it times that 5.91. Okay, so here's our interest rate, our APR. Here's the term of our loan, how many months. Find where those two intersect and that will help you figure that out. Okay, so I'm gonna move this off to the side here because we're gonna need some space. So we're gonna take that 1800, we're gonna divide it by 100, and then we're gonna take that amount times 5.91. And the monthly payment amount for us for this is going to be $106.38. All right, so the second thing that we have to do then is figure out the total amount repaid. So after we're all finish paying off this loan, we want to know how much total we have actually paid back. And it's going to be more than what we borrowed. So we know that we're going to be paying $106.38 every month. And our term is for 18 months. So we're going to repay that monthly payment 18 times. And that's going to give us one thousand nine hundred eight, sorry, fourteen dollars and eighty four cents. So we borrowed eighteen hundred, but we paid back 
$1,914.84. So think about it this way. If you borrowed $20 from your friend, you would give your friend $20 back. But when you borrow from a bank or some kind of financial institution, this is how they make their money. They make their money on these finance charges. So they are gonna actually have you pay back more than you borrowed because you are using their service, okay? So the last thing we have to do is we have to calculate that finance charge. So we're gonna take this 1914.84 from before, that's the total amount that we paid back, and we're gonna subtract out the amount that we actually borrowed. And that's gonna tell us what our finance charge is. So our finance charge for this loan was $114.84. In the second example, it's a little bit different. So Madison and Kayla are purchasing a pool table for our classroom. I'm not sure where all this stuff is gonna go, um, but she's doing it with an installment loan. So again, different from a single payment loan. Um, it has an APR of 12%. So the pool table sells for $13.99.99 but the store financing requires a 10% down payment and 12 monthly payments. So we have to figure out the finance charge again. Now, before we do this one, remember that the first step is finding the monthly payment. And in order to find the monthly payment, we have to take the amount financed divided by 100. Well, in this case, we don't know what the amount financed is because we have the, the cost of the pool table, but they require a 10% down payment, which means that we have to pay some of it right now, and then we can borrow what's left. So the first thing we have to do is we've got to calculate what the down payment is. So we're going to take that $13.99.99, and we're going to multiply it times 0 0.10, okay? So this is what we did in the last section. We calculated the down payment, and then we calculated the amount financed. So $13.99.99 times 10% is $139.99.9, which rounds up to $140. So the amount financed is going to be the $13.99.99 minus $140. which is $12.59.99. So we don't need this amount anymore for this problem. Everything that we're going to do is going to be based off of the amount that we actually financed, the amount that we borrowed. So first thing is we are going to calculate our monthly payment. So the way that we calculate the money, monthly payment amount is we take the amount that we financed, we divide it by 100, and then we multiply it by the number that we get from this chart. So we have 10 per, or sorry, not 10%, that's our down payment. We have 12 monthly payments and an APR of 12%. So we're going to look in the 12% column for 12 months. So that's 8.88. And then I'm going to move this out of the way so that we can use the rest of this for perhaps a little bit more space here. Okay, so if we take that $1,259.99, we divide it by 100, and then we multiply that times 8.88, we get 111.89. So this is the amount that we are going to have to pay for the next 12 months. So once we get that done, we have to calculate the total amount repaid. So we're going to take that 111.89, and we're going to have to pay that for 12 monthly payments, so 12 times. And we get 1342.65. This is the amount that we're actually going to pay back, but this is the amount that we borrowed. So we're paying back more 
than what we borrowed. So the last step is to find that finance charge. So we're going to take this 1342.65 and we're going to subtract out the amount that we financed. And we get $82.66. So this is the finance charge. That is the cost um, that we had to pay in order to be able to borrow money through them.